An Alberta MLA is apologizing today. Derek Fildebrand, the finance critic for Alberta's official opposition, has been under fire since it became known he'd rented out his Edmonton condo on Airbnb while he claimed a taxpayer-funded housing allowance for that unit. Tashana is here as the MLA announces he's taking a leave of absence from that role. Tashana. That's right, Heather. So not only did MLA Derek Fildebrandt apologize, but he also announced that he was going to be taking a leave of absence from his role as official finance critic in the United Conservative Party. So let's hear what he had to say. Uh, this is part of his statement. He says, I believe that renting out my Edmonton home while I was away was above board and never costed the taxpayer anything extra. I, however, recognize the perception that this is not good enough and have spoken with my constituents and they are never wrong. I apologize. So Phil DeBrent went on to say that he has since paid back more than $2,500 that he earned renting his apartment on Airbnb over a course of eight months. And he says he's making that payment for the taxpayer. A spokesperson from his party says that that money was paid to the Legislative, Le Legislative Assembly office yesterday. Now, Phil DeBrent had rented out his apartment but still claimed more than $7,700 as part of his housing allowance that uh, he is allotted as an MLA that lives outside of the city. Now, he was scheduled for a family vacation, so he says that this leave of absence begins immediately. Now, he had described this controversy when news first broke as a political smear, but we've heard from many politicians over the course of yesterday commenting that they are absolutely in shock that as someone who is seen as one of the fiercest financial critics and also former head of the Canadian Taxpayer Federation, for him to make that decision, that poor decision, uh, is is just flat out wrong. So many people saying that he needed to apologize, especially to the taxpayers. There has been swift and strong reaction to this, Tashana, perhaps as you would expect. But what do the rules actually say about whether he was within his, uh, you know, rules or allowance to do so? Well, this is uh, the big question. I mean, technically, uh, there, he hasn't really broken any rules. So this is something uh, that we did here uh, yesterday. But uh, we have heard from a number of politicians that say the decision was wrong and that it shows that he is a hypocrite. Here's what some of them had to say. Take a listen. Mr. Fildebrandt needs to think about uh, the consistency between the positions he's taken in the past and, and his own behaviours. You know, you can talk the talk, but you need to walk the talk, and I don't think that he has been. The principle should be that you don't personally benefit from taxpayer money. Uh, Jared, Derek Fildebrandt is personally benefiting from a taxpayer-subsidised apartment. That is wrong. So the Speaker's office saying technically no rules were broken. However, um, you know, we're hearing from a number of uh, party leaders, uh, including Greg Clark, who says that there needs to be a full investigation uh, into Hildebrand as well as all MLAs and their expenses. So uh, who knows what's going to happen going forward, but um, it definitely was something that got people very riled up yesterday. Tashana, thank you very much.